this is Hannah at the Purple Painted Lady for our Friday Facebook Live. And Courtney's behind the camera. Say hi, Courtney. Hi. <laughs> so today we're going to be showing you a couple of the Iron Orchid Designs products on this lovely grandfather clock, which we painted three years ago. I think it's three years ago. So it had um, milk paint as a base. You can kind of see a little bit of the texture. We did a coat of Han Fleur first, the brown that you can see right there. And then we did French linen and then an old white wash and then distress. So it gave it kind of like a driftwood effect. And today we're gonna be revamping it with some transfers and stamps as well. So we'll start with the transfer. This is the Bohemian Border Transfer. So it's kind of like Bohemian. It's got a lot of nice colors and patterns. And we're gonna be doing this along the bottom of the glass there. So. We've got a lot of questions about if these can be put on glass absolutely. or mirrors. Yeah, do you wanna show them the mirror over yeah, there? Yeah, so we'll go a little bit slower. We did a Facebook Live, I think, on this mirror a, long, a while ago. It was a while ago. Uh, so this is a mirror that we painted the frame to it. We did actually the same steps here that we did on the clock. So we did it on floor underneath. We did French linen on top. We actually distressed it right after that. And then we did the wash of old white and clear wax. So the mirror already looked pretty awesome. But then we decided that we also wanted to add a little bit of character to the front of it. So this transfer is called Gypsy Queen. This is an iron orchid design transfer that we have. And this is a great way to take like a giant mirror like this that might be a focal point in your space and kind of give it some character. So a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of you have been asking, can I put this on glass? Can I put this on a mirror? And you absolutely can. So. Uh, we're gonna show you that today with this Bohemian Border, which is an absolutely gorgeous <laughs> transfer. It's not a huge one, it's one of our smaller ones, but you can slice and dice it like we're gonna show you today to kind of make the best out of it. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it out first. We'll start on this side over here. The important thing you wanna remember when you're doing the transfers on glass, you wanna make sure you get all the dust off, any uh, residual, whatever's on there, you wanna make sure it's off or the transfer will not fully adhere. You'll have lifting and peeling in some areas, which you definitely don't want. Um, so we're just gonna clean that off. <laughs> it's it's a, a nice it day. Is. So Our we... doors are open, yeah. trucks are going by. So I am just going to lay this out. And I like to use the grid lines to give me an idea of where to cut it. So I'm just gonna keep my finger there and I'm gonna cut it right along that line. So grab my scissors and cut away. I had a lot of people ask me about cutting transfers. We posted something about the toolbox that I did um, and they wanted to know where the transfer came from and they did not I think a few of them were confused because the transfer that I sent them to had that French writing on it. But you yeah. can definitely slice and dice transfers to use however you want. Exactly. Okay, so then I'm just going to peel back the backing there and line it up on my piece. want to get it all lined up before I press it on. We're lucky because we can actually use the paint a little bit to hold it yeah. in place, which is nice. Okay. Hattie says, good. Morning, ladies. You inspired me to try the IOD transfers. One transfer was just right for two projects. On a window, on the rest, on the back of a bench. Just going to trim a little bit of the bottom off so there's not a gap. Oh, 
All right, and then all of the transfers come with this little tool to rub the transfer on. It almost looks like a nail file. You could use a credit card. What do you typically use, Courtney? I actually use, use the, the, the stick that comes with it. Me too. Um, on the off chance that I lose that, I paint stick. A paint stick go with, work. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so like Courtney said, the paint kind of holds it in. Usually I would use a little bit of painter's tape uh, just to keep it in place, but no problem with this one. So I'm just going to rub it on. And you don't have to use a ton of pressure. It's not like you're going to break the glass by pushing super right. hard on this. It actually transfers fairly easily. It does. Good morning, Evelyn from SoCal. Ooh. How are you? <laughs> These okay. are so nice. So sometimes with glass, it does take a little bit more finesse because it is such a smooth surface. But eventually, You'll start to feel it transferring on. I've got a little bit there, but as you can see, that portion there is still stuck to the paper. So I'm just gonna go back there and apply more pressure before I continue peeling. And sometimes with the more detailed transfers, you really want to be careful and pay attention to all those details so you don't lift off any of the, like these little swirls, for instance. Mm -hmm. okay. The good thing about some of the transfers too is they already have like a naturally distressed look. So sometimes if you mess it up just a little bit, you don't even notice. So it doesn't take too really much nice. experience. Trish likes to compare these to if you ever decorated Easter eggs. Um, they used to come with these little transfers where you would rub them onto the Easter egg. Mm -hmm. Those were really awesome. <laughs> We actually, I remember we were promoting this video and so many people were interested in this clock. Yeah. And it's actually been in our shop for about three years now. Um, and <laughs> we just keep adding stuff to it. Yeah. Like we're gonna do the, the, we're doing these transfers on the bottom, but then we're also gonna use some of the stamps that we showcased in another one of our Facebook Lives. Um, and we're gonna kind of do that randomly all over to kind of add some detail to that. It's important to note that when you first use transfers, you definitely want to be patient because sometimes it doesn't always stick exactly as you want it to. Um, Hannah did note that if you're doing it on glass, it might take a little bit more pressure to actually get the transfer to, to go over. But that is really because the glass is such a smooth surface. And if you're doing a transfer over something like chalk paint that's porous, the transfer has a little bit more to grip to to actually stick to it. Um, but they still do work on glass. Look how nice that <laughs> looks. Now for cleaning afterwards, um, you definitely don't want to scrub this because the transfer it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, but it is gonna be a little fragile, which is why if you use it on like a mirror or a window, it's perfect because you're not really gonna clean that too much. Um, if you do have to clean it, we would recommend just taking Windex, spraying that first onto a cloth and then wiping gently over the transfer. You don't wanna scrub it because that could actually remove some of it. So I'm just ah. gonna go back with my hand. I can feel where some of the areas have bubbled a little bit. So you can actually take um, your applicator and just kind of lightly go over it. Um, usually what a lot of people will do after they fully applied the transfer, they'll take like a cotton rag and lightly rub over so they can notice some of those places so it doesn't peel off eventually. But this guy is almost done. Really once you get towards the end, the um, backing here will just kind of lift itself off. Mm -hmm. 
I find that these larger sheets are usually easier to work with because if one part of it starts sticking, usually the rest will just follow. Yeah. It's usually the ones like the Gypsy Queen that we saw a few moments ago that have like the scroll work. That can be a little bit tricky, but you just gotta take your time and, and work in smaller sections. Yay! Right so there! So that size done over here. I notice a couple little places. Um, so I can just go back with this and kind of clean them up a little bit. And we can even take a little bit of sandpaper later and lightly distress it so it kind of blends in a little bit better. But that I think gorgeous. it looks awesome. That is so pretty. So we'll do the rest <laughs> of the sides um, a little bit later and then post a finished product at the end. But now we're gonna show you some of the stamps. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna be using the Iron Orchid Designs Rose Twall stamps. I really like on this part, especially the dragonfly, I think is really nice. Um, obviously the roses. Um, so we're gonna show those to you guys. So I've got some already cut up. What I do with the stamps, um, I keep them on the backing. So it's two separate sheets. You peel one back and then the stamps themselves are still on a backing. So what I like to do is cut them out um, and keep one of the acetate sheets solid so I can actually go back and stick them back on later. Um, so I've got all my stamps from that set cut out here. And I'm just gonna take some ink and put it on a paper plate here. And then we've got these really nice brayers which are good for um, rolling the ink onto the stamps. So which one do you think we should use, Courtney? Which one first? Uh, I think we should put a rose up in the, yeah. the lower corner of that side. So one of these, so this one actually has like a natural cornered edge there, so we'll use that one. So I'm just gonna roll the ink onto the brayer. And then take the ink and roll it onto the stamp as well. Okay. So these are super easy to use. What I do is just kind of line it up and just like any decorative stamp, just press it right on there. Oh. And then peel it back. So at first it's a little thick while it's still wet. It will actually dry. And then in some areas like this, you can just go back and lightly sand. Or if it's a piece that you've clear waxed, you can take a little bit of clear wax and go back and use it almost like an eraser in those areas. Okay. Which makes it awesome that we've already clear waxed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It but really that kind of blends cool. in. Anyways. It does. So. Okay, now I'm going to use the dragonfly because he's my favorite. <laughs> so I'm just going to roll on the ink and as you can tell, we've been busy with projects already today. <laughs> my hands are never clean. We have a couple of painting projects <laughs> going on. So I'm just going to use my dragonfly there. And you don't have to use ink, you can use chalk paint if you want a colored effect instead. So if I wanted my dragonfly in the Barcelona orange that's on my hand, I could have used that as well. He is super cool. <laughs> I know that some of our packages, if someone has ordered transfers or anything that we ship post office from us, we actually sometimes use these stamps to decorate. Yeah those packages so you may have gotten a stamped package from Hannah yeah okay so like we were saying while the ink's still wet it will look a little thick at first but when it dries it'll be a little bit more defined of a pattern yeah absolutely definitely all right do you want to try one out Courtney I think I'm, I kind of want to practice on something else before I go right for the clock. Um, if anyone has questions, definitely post them. We're going to continue working on this clock and some of the other projects that we have going on in the shop today. We'll keep you up to date on both. When this is done, we'll definitely post a, a finished picture of it in the comment section so you guys can see. So if you guys have any comments, you or questions, comments, concerns, whatever, you can post them below. 
If you like our Facebook Lives and you want to be notified when they happen, we actually have a text alert system. If you just start off a text message and put the phone number 74121 where a phone number should go, it's a little bit shorter than a normal phone number, but it will still work. You text the word chalk paint, all one word, no caps, and you'll get entered into our text alert system. That way we can let you know when we're going live and what the topic is so you can you can join us. Bless you. But that is all for today. We will answer your questions a little bit later if you post them, and we will make sure to post some finished products. Thanks for watching. Bye. Happy Friday. <laughs>